So here we are at Le Croissant Royale. We were all ready to leave today and Jordan dropped his iPhone right here at the dock, two feet from the dock, and we can't find it. We've been looking for about 45 minutes now. We got a beautiful day. We should be sailing. But we're trying to give it our best shot. We went back to the boat, we got some goggles, we got our fishing net. It's only about six foot deep here and there's about half a foot of a seaweed like carpet. So it's a little spongy down there. But as soon as you're swimming, it kind of loses its clarity and you can't really see too well. Scarlett, I want you to be careful there, baby. Yeah. It's not a good idea to have only one part of your body on the dock. You lose your balance. So Michael went back to the boat. He's going to try to get his, um, his tray that's um, magnetic. And he's going to try to drag it in the net or something and see if we can attract it. Jordan's feeling around the bottom, see if he can find anything hard. Yeah, I just locked my phone. I saw it, uh, so I jumped off of this thing. I went on most of its corners. I went, pink, pink, boop. Yeah. All right into the water. It was right there. And we saw it, it was clearly. Right it was crystal clear, you can see it so easily. Then everyone started going like, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, fast, 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 fast. I, no, I had no idea what to do. Well, you jumped in, <laughs> but once you stirred up the water, we couldn't, couldn't see it anymore. But, hopefully I go find it. Is Jordan's phone magnetic? Well, it's made of metal, so we're thinking that if we drag the magnet. magnetic tray down there that we might find it. It's a good idea, but I don't think it's magnetic. That's a problem. As long as it's metal, it should attract it. More than anything, we just need another strategy because we don't know what else to do. I think it's buried somewhere underneath there. Underneath all this seaweed here. Yeah. In the fresh water? Yep. Real good? Yes, and I would like to wash myself in the fresh water real good. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a hose around here, a garden hose? No, I don't. Sorry. Jordan, show us the phone. Thank you. Show us uh, the phone. Show us the phone. Probably cracked. Wow. Uh, no. Is it cracked? It's okay, right? It's underwater. It's not completely waterproof, apparently. That's well, the bad part. Let's... But I, I found it on. Somebody knows on underwater. It was still on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? That's good. That's great. No. Make sure you don't get you don't more salt water on it. You, Jordan, don't plug it in. I know. If you plug it in, you can fry the motherboard, okay? Okay, right there. Let's go home. Let's go. Are you rolling? All right, okay. Uh, we were just about to leave. We were calling a quiz for the day. I dropped my phone in the water, being in the idiot I am. I saw this little thing dangling in the water, right underneath the sand. And I pulled up and the entire phone came out with it. We have to it, was still, it was still on. It had a 20% 20, 20 power uh, warning, 20% power off. <laughs> wow. I, I don't Good. Want to warn you, but you have 20% power. Today's our weather window, our last chance to really get moving. Beautiful day. I thought we were going to be stuck here at uh, Papillon Island for another week. <laughs> but we gotta get going. Okay. Yeah, go. Pack up, guys. I was just about to go I'm in. Still I was, I, my shirt is still wet, but I was just about to go in. Okay, I wanna go home. 